How did China construct the first submarine ever built anywhere in the world? Rapid transit. Since the beginning of this decade, people all around the globe have been paying attention to the progress that China has made with its infrastructure. Their endeavors have pushed the infrastructures of the globe to the test and have made it possible for China to build one technological marvel after another. They have one of the most extensive rail networks in the world, and their high-speed rail is both the fastest and the longest in the world. And to this day, no nation has been able to surpass it. The first undersea high-speed rail line to be built in China will have a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour and will require China to make an investment equal to $60 billion. This massive effort will test the limits of what humans are capable of constructing. This technological advancement has likewise astonished the entire world. If you had traveled to China 10 years ago, you would be aware that the nation did not begin construction of high-speed rail until more than 40 years after developed nation. Despite this, development of high-speed rail in China has made great progress since the completion of the country's first high-speed rail line in 2008, which was designed to reach speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour. The technology used in the railroad sector is years behind where it needs to be. They researched the train technology utilized in countries such as Japan, Britain, Germany, and others. After some time, they began conducting their own research and coming up with original concepts. After 2008, China began to establish high-speed rail lines to all of its cities throughout the country. More than 70% of the world's high-speed trains currently travel more than 40,000 kilometers, which is an increase from more than 9,000 kilometers in the year 2012. Construction has not yet been completed on all 30,000 kilometers of high-speed rail. The speed limit has been increased from 450 kilometers per hour to 350 kilometers per hour. The new high-speed rail, which was developed with the help of maglev technology, is now capable of reaching speeds of up to 650 kilometers per hour. The high-speed train that runs through China moves at a speed that is comparable to that of an airplane. Which city in China would that be? Is that a substitute? A quickening of the train's pace? Chantel is a very unimportant coastal city in China, and it is home to only 5.5 million people. Despite this, the city's location is extremely important to the general growth and development of China. In the province of Hainan in China, the South China Sea can be found to the south of the city's sea area, while Taiwan can be found to the east of the city's sea area. The city of Hainan is very important to China in terms of its economy, energy, and military. China rightfully claims Taiwan as part of its territory. Because of this one factor alone, China has decided to build an underwater high-speed train in this city that is located just across the ocean from Taiwan. Submarine engineering, however, is not a simple undertaking. After all, the ecosystem that exists within a submarine is quite a little more complicated than that which exists on land. It is a really difficult task. After all, there has never been an attempt made to create a high-speed train below the surface of the ocean. Many nations in the Western Hemisphere have a hard time grasping the enormity of this undertaking. Could construct an underground railway capable of very high speeds? To begin, an underwater passageway has to be built. This underground passage runs for a total of 9,781 meters in length. It is a high-speed railway tunnel that is located under the sea, and it has one hole and two tracks. The water is 100 meters deep, and the planned speed is 350 kilometers per hour. It is necessary to find solutions to a number of complicated geological difficulties before the seabed of the complex can be utilized for development. In conjunction with the tremendous pressure of the water, the presence of the sea, wind, waves, and rapid flow, together with a large number of additional unfavorable construction conditions, is inevitable. Seawater is particularly corrosive to metals. The prevention of corrosion of construction materials brought on by exposure to seawater will be the initial challenge that the project in the planned location will face. It is necessary to remove a substantial volume of rock from one spot. However, unlike on land, this task cannot be accomplished by the use of explosive blasting. In addition to this, the seabed may be broken up into 17 different faults. In addition to this, the discovery of a magnitude 8 seismic zone in the Pacific Rim volcanic seismic zone posed a significant obstacle for the project, which has been plagued by a great deal of difficulty. 
Two of the most important technologies for the total subsea project are the maintenance of the structural integrity of the undersea tunnel and the provision of electricity for the high-speed rail system. The construction party has mastered its building and opening technologies, and they used a shield machine that China herself had just built to meet the requirements for tunnel opening and laying on the seabed. In terms of the structure of the undersea tunnel, the construction party has also mastered its building and opening technologies. The structural portion of the undersea tunnel is constructed using materials and structures that are able to withstand high pressure. This ensures that the high-speed rail will run steadily within a safe depth and that there will be no issues with the overall project safety or the operations that will follow it. Tidal energy, which is the most abundant source of energy on the Earth, has the potential to address the problem of undersea electricity. On the other hand, the problem of how much technology costs has been around for a century, and it is a problem that no government has ever been able to address. But now China has found a solution to this worldwide problem by utilizing tidal energy to solve the electrical problem, which allowed them to construct this undersea project. Not only has China raised the bar for its infrastructure, but it has also resolved technical and financial issues related to tidal power generators by using parallel placed tidal power generators to produce electricity for a submerged high-speed train. This achievement was made possible because China used tidal power generators that were placed in parallel. Several countries have recently recognized the potential of this technology and are surprised by its success in China. At the moment, as traditional forms of energy, such as fossil fuels, are running out and as new energy technologies are becoming increasingly widespread through the construction of a subterranean high-speed railway, China is displaying its overall leadership in a number of different industries. Construction of the subsea high-speed railway is presently underway, and it is anticipated that service will commence in 2026. Once this milestone is reached, China will be the first country in the world to put high-speed submarine rail technology into operation. China has always been a developed and peaceful nation since its inception. When working on bettering oneself, putting the one path, one belt, one road philosophy into effect, in addition to this, he is anxious to pass on the benefits of his achievements and contribute to the development of other countries. As a consequence of this, we also believe that Taiwan and other coastal cities that are separated by straits will benefit from the high-speed rail technology that China has developed underneath the surface to the west of the ocean. We predict that China will ultimately build a high-speed rail route to Taiwan, which will enable inhabitants of both territories to travel freely between them. There is the potential to save more time. It is possible to argue that it serves a variety of purposes. What do you think about this? Thanks for watching. Click on these videos to watch about other shocking projects.